Hi guys, Angry Monkey here with Huh. Oh. Okay. Apparently there's not a cutscene. Next thing will occur at eleven. So that's in that's in like what forty five minutes? I'm not good at t telling analog clocks, but... Um... Uh, I guess I'll just hang out here. There's not really anything else to do. So, I... Oh, that is weird. Notice that... Well, I guess he's just pulling back his sleeve, but... Looks like he's wearing short sleeves there. Has an actual sleeve there. Is well, the photo challenge is still going on? So I think I'm gonna have to act slightly perverted here. I apologize. This is not. I mean, it's. I mean, that's just my choice for. Perfect. Well, sorry guys. I really didn't want to do that. Because I highly doubt that this will amount to it. But I know that you have to take a picture of her cleavage in order for Kent to be like, Yeah, that's nice, and I'm gonna fight you, and all that stuff. Yeah, you're gonna stand like that too, or something. I don't, I don't know. Otherwise, I wouldn't have done that, because I actually feel, like, dirty for doing that. So, I guess we'll just have to hear all this. <laughs> what are we doing here? I understand. That's what one, one of them says. I understand. Yep. Oh, yeah. That, that satisfies you. Oh, nobody's in that room yet. Okay. Cutscene time. He's stabilized. He should be fine for now. Are you all right? You have blood on you. Huh? Oh. Uh, yeah. Must be from that girl I saved. Girl? Was she hurt? I offered to help her, but she took off. Can't really blame her for running from a guy with your looks. I'm wearing a yellow mask. And Who would want to run from... Actually, no, that's actually quite creepy. Santa Cabeza. Santa Cabeza? I think I... <laughs> Dr. Barnaby, you're awake. Oh. Santa Cabeza. Let's see what answers he has. I should have known. I thought Santa Cabeza was over and done with. You plan to dispense justice now? Calm down, Dr. Barnaby. We're only following orders. We have to protect protect? you. Protect? More like imprison. Professor, if we're going to protect you, we need to know the truth. All of it. Please. Talk to us. I take it you know what Santa Cabeza is. Am I right? <laughs> what was that for, Frank? Fine. I'll just get my information somewhere else. Thank you very much. Don't worry, you will. Maybe if I can track down that woman again. Good luck, for a small's pretty big. Oh, 
Okay. So it's saving. So we have four hours. Oh, huh. I'm almost dead. Well, at least I saved. I wonder if there's still room to make the photo challenge. But I don't even know if my erotica photo that I took of Jessica is good enough. It was either supposed to be like 500 or 5,000, and my best one was like a little in the 200s. Okay, so I'll get him on the way back. Because he's like right inside the door of Paradise Plaza. But I need to get some food first because I'm about to go fight um, two psychopaths. Well, one definite. I'm definitely going to fight one. Uh, Ken, I don't know if I am going to fight him or not. It all depends on how things go. Okay. Yeah, there are books for uh, like health, like health objects doing like twice as much. Uh, you can pick those up in the bookstore. I just don't remember which bookstore. No, uh, well, I I wanted that. I guess my photo isn't good enough, because I guess otherwise the event would have been activated. Because you, you get tied up here, and I don't see him, unless he's in here? Okay, well, apparently my photo wasn't good enough, so... Um... I guess in that case, I'll just go... Um, guess I'll go battle that guy. I didn't want to battle Kent anyway. He was a weird guy. Well, I guess all the psychopaths are weird, but he was... I, I don't like battling him. Frank's good on a skateboard. He's a lot better than I am on a skateboard. I can barely... Heck, I can't even... Um, stand up while on a skateboard. So I have to admire him to be able to actually be competent enough to competent enough on a skateboard, so props to you, Frank. And we are going into this. Chris slips uh, it's, it's basically a it's a small home improvement store. Hardware store. One minute. Yeah. Right. 
this isn't creepy at all. Um, my name's you Frank. Can tell me. And can you, fella? Oh yeah, I know why. It's because you're Viet Cong. I am not Viet Cong. I'm right, aren't I? You are nothing this, but a filthy job. This is probably the saddest of all the psychopaths. He is having PTSD from the Vietnam War. He is using guerrilla warfare on you, and the end cutscene is really sad. You are gonna be begging for death to come take you away. You have to be careful on him, because he will like sneak up right behind you. He has certainly learned guerrilla warfare quite oh hi. But I'm going to show you Gorilla Warfare. Hey, I get it, because I'm a monkey. I guess that was bad. Yeah, he's all the way over there now. I recommend to stay on here. So that way you can... Oh. He... Where... Where are you? Hear you. I don't see you. Yeah, he's like hiding in all these vents and everything. Yeah, I do not want to be on the floor. There you are. Ah. All right. Ah, no. So close. He's got like one more hit on him and then he's dead. Use the toy lightsaber. There we go. Oh, that was intense. You over there. Here. Take this. My granddaughter. She was done in by those damn zombies. When I heard her scream, I just lost it. Everything went white. Suddenly. And over. Not for me. It, it never ended. Oh, 
what I tell you? That was, that's probably the most emotional. That was probably the most emotional psychopath fight. And I am going to a place to save. And I am going to call it an episode because, um, well, <laughs> my DVD that I'm using to record with is, uh, got like two minutes left, maybe, so I don't want to get involved in anything else. Nope, not there. That was a good shot. Okay. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Gotta go really bad. <sighs> Sigh of relief. And with that... I bid you farewell for now. I hope you guys enjoyed Dead Rising. I'm actually having a lot more fun now that I'm not rescuing as many survivors. However, it sounds like I'm going to maybe rescue a few survivors because um, the war vet is holding like four of them hostage. And there's the fat crybaby in Paradise Plaza. And then I might be able to rescue the other guy and... Alfresca Plaza, but that is so out of the way, so probably not. But anyway, I will catch you guys in the next episode of Dead Rising, and I will see you guys then. This is such a super long goodbye, so goodbye.